What's going on, everybody? Alex Kolakowski here on the other set, Tiger Skull RPG. Today, I want to talk to you guys about uh, parting your figures. We kind of touched on this a little bit um, in our last video where we uh, inserted our characters into the base, uh, but this one's a little, a little bit different. We're going to be using the slice tool to uh, kind of, maybe you want to mold your characters, maybe you just want to print them um, a little bit larger than your build plate would normally allow. So I just want to show you guys some of the workflow for that specific task. Uh, before I get started, I want to mention uh, music we're listening to is from purpleplanet.com. Uh, if you're into that, check it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, cut this arm off and then insert a key um, in such a way that we have a clean line uh, clean insertion with zero uh, detail loss. So really important here, important to make sure that you are working on the optimized model. You want to kind of do this at the very end. Uh, if you're doing this on a really high poly model, it's going to be a uh, real pain. Okay, so let's get right into it here. <clears throat> First tool we need to use is the slice curve. If you hold control shift, you can see it up here, slice curve. Okay, and this is going to slice through your model. Um, it's just going to kind of draw some polygons for you. So just, if I just, you know, slice through, I'm going to slice through the arm, but I just want to show you, uh, you know, this is going to slice through your entire model and uh, kind of create this uh, second polygon for you. Uh, that wasn't ideal. I just want to clean cut right through the arm here. And right where it's, you really do want to aim for somewhere that is a bit, has a little bit, um, not a ton going on. So there's this little gap that goes around the arm here. And I only want to cut through the arm. I don't want to cut through the head there. So I'm going to draw my uh, curve. And if you can't angle it in such a way that it's not going to aim at anything, you can hold, hit uh, Alt twice. And then just kind of aim it where you don't need it. OK, this is going to do a cut for us. Perfect, so we have a nice clean poly group here. I'm going to control shift, hide this. Um, you could also do group split, but I'm just going to split hidden. So now we have the arm on its own. I'm going to come down and turn on uh, double sided here so we can see exactly what's going on. Now, okay, so I've got a hotkey for this, but uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here is close holes. Uh, you definitely want to do this. Um, this is going to get you most of the way there, and maybe this will work for you, just closing holes. This is not too bad, actually. There's a couple spots, though, that are not ideal, so this may give you errors. May or may not. So let's just talk about how to fix that sort of issue. Uh, the reason it's happening is because it's filling a hole over this little gap here. So, yeah, it's kind of cutting around the corner and making polygons. It's really maybe even too hard to see on the on the video, but uh, it's very it's a thin sliver. Anyway, it's, what you want to do is uh, I have my Z model of brush. Uh, you can hit B Z M to grab that, and uh, when, when you hover over an edge, let's just uh, look at the bridge tool here, um, and we want to close the gap where you know it's trying to cut this corner. So if I come from this corner and then select the second edge over here. We've got to really hit that edge. Boom. Okay. That's so that will kind of contain this little island here. This one looks like a problem to me as well. So I'm going to come in and actually let's make this a little bit smaller. Grab this edge. Find an edge over here. Close that little island. Um, that might be good. I'm going to hit my uh, close holes again and just give it a look. It looks not too bad. I have a little bit more here, so let's just do one more here and do something like this and close once again. Cool. I think I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's look at it. So you can see it's perfectly flat now, and that's exactly what we're going for. Now you do have to do that on this other, on your other model, of course. Okay, so let's just close holes here and just see what it looks like at first. Okay, probably, I mean, all the same areas should be problem again. 
we have here, undo. Just keep undoing and turn on double sided again for this one. Okay, let's grab this guy, connect it over here to this one. Nice, that should close that. What else? I think over here was a problem. Let's just close this uh, kind of tricep island. You really gotta catch that edge. Oops, don't do that. Don't do that. This edge, that edge, there we go. Okay, let's uh, close. Close these holes. See anything? I don't see any glue. Oh man, I'm see right here. Okay, this one. I think we did close this island on the other one as well. So, that in there. Cool. Okay. Let's uh, close this again. Cool. So, that looks like. It looks like it did it for us, I think. Yeah. Let's just have a look. Clean. Actually, it does kind of show you, doesn't it? Uh, right here. That's it here. Just gonna do that one. Um, so, just draw another little line here. Here, uh, maybe all the way to there. Let's try that. And let's close that hole. Uh, turn this off. Frame this up again. It's kind of lost. Kind of lost here. Oh, here's one. A couple of these. So, you're just gonna keep going around until we uh, have caught all these. Well, let's try over here actually. Right. How are we doing? Oh boy. I think it drew some. Uh, I think I accidentally maybe drew some strange uh, polys there. Okay, let's do this one more time. And let's close the holes. Okay, all right. So you've got your uh, your arm all cleaned up. It's all part of a. All you need to do now is uh, just create the uh, the insert, and we're going to be just reviewing booleans again. Um, I'm just going to create a cube real quickly. You can insert one in, but I'm going to uh, duplicate this arm and just initialize it as a cube. Perfect. Um, I'm going to just move this aside, roughly scale it to where I want it to be. Something like this. Uh, you know, I'm picking a cube instead of a circle this time just because. Uh, I know if I use this sort of square shape, the arm isn't going to rotate around. Uh, let's turn on transparent and uh, just make sure we're really getting this right in the middle of the arm. Um, and the only other thing I would say about this is to make sure to put the negative in the, uh, you know, the thicker, the thicker side of the, uh, the model so that the walls aren't getting too thin. So that may be let's let's like let's hide one of these and see how it's looking there. Let's hide the body. Let's turn the transparency off. Okay, so I think we can go we've got a midline here, so let's try to get the midline in the middle of this. Cool. Like this. Yeah, you don't have to be too too picky here. But something like that, I think, should work. Let's take this guy. Okay. 
All right. So again, Boolean review here. Um, we'll turn live Booleans on first. This is, we're going to link down to this cube. This is the cube we're using. We're going to uh, duplicate this guy. And this is going to be used on the body as a negative. So we'll set this to negative. Okay, these are positive or additive, I should say, and these are subtractive. So we'll link the body to this one and um, the uh, hand to, to the, uh, this other one. And again, let's just, well, let's just have a look at that real quick. So this is as you'd expect, the arm with the uh, uh, cube rectangle shape there. And then we've got the negative here too. The only thing I'm going to do uh, is just inflate this a little bit just because of the expansion that happens. So um, depends on the scale, but let's try 1.5. I think at a miniature scale, that's usually pretty safe for me. So there we go. Um, that's what you'll want the finished model to look like. Now, all we have to do is hit uh, live boolean, um, make boolean mesh, sorry, with uh, live boolean on, and that should take us where we need to go. Okay, here we go. And let's just solo this. Awesome. Okay. There you go. That's. That's basically it. So you just gotta go around your model and keep going. All right, guys, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, like, like, and subscribe if you if you like uh, more of this kind of stuff. If you want to uh, print this model for yourself, head over to TigerSkullRPG.com and uh, you'll find them there. Okay, thanks so much. Catch you next time.